Paul. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a, uh, a Confucius saying, a Chinese saying, and it's uh, 秀身其家, And what that means is, I don't expect you to remember it, but uh, 秀身 is, is uh, protect your body, or it's like Chinese medicine, it's like take care of yourself. And Chija is like your family, right? Take care of your family. And Jirgua uh, is like do your part for your country. And then Ping Tian Xia is there will be peace all under the heavens. So if you take care of yourself, your body, you take care of your family, and you do your bit for your country, there'll be peace will reign all under the heavens. And I say, I, I thought of that because uh, Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore died uh, last week, passed away. Uh, I was a big fan of his, actually, and he kind of is the architect of the Asian model, the Asian governance model for modern countries, and it's kind of the same model that you see mainland China trying to emulate now, or, or like Xi Jinping, uh, the leader of China, he's really, he's very big on, uh, on, the, on the Lee Kuan Yew model, and that, that saying, the Confucius saying, was one of his big, was one of Lee Kuan Yew's favorite sayings. And in our last podcast, we talked about, with Li Ling, we talked about uh, Chinese parents buying houses for their, their children. And, you know, it's part of it. It's part of it. It's like, it's so, it's so embedded in, in, in Chinese society. Like, most of my Chinese friends, and this is going to be hard to believe, but most of my Chinese friends, and I mean not rich people, like regular, you know, like full-on people from mining towns, countryside, out near Pakistan, you know, I'm not talking about downtown Beijing their parents purchased a house for each of their children. So if they had one child, they bought one house. If they had two, because in the countryside it's pretty easy to have two or three, uh, they bought houses for each child. So when, when people here, agents, see them buying a house for their children, it seems over the top. It seems like, well, what are they doing, you know? It's like, that's crazy, because in, in California, for example, where we are now, pe parents just don't buy houses for their kids, right? Um, but in China, it's a, it's, it's, it's a very big thing. And, what they're doing when they're buying that house is they're kind of uh, establishing a safe place for their children because the air is now bad in China. People are worried about several issues in China. So they want to bring them to somewhere nice, somewhere beautiful like this, somewhere beautiful like California, where it's safe for their children, where the air is good, um, and they can, they can take care of their family. So that's a deep saying. It's not just a saying. It's a part of Chinese society. So when someone's buying a house for their children, don't assume that they're just some corrupt official, uh, you know, with some nefarious motives. You know, it's often just a, par a parents who've really gone out of their way to do this. Often, uh, several relatives will put money together to buy this house. So they're not even necessarily that rich, even if they're buying a cash house for their children. I mean, many are, of course, but a lot of them are not. And they'll have like as many as 36 family members will put together money to go and then buy the house for the kids. Uh, even when they're two years old or whatever, uh, and especially when they're just about to get married. Uh, but that's it. So that's a little today's uh, Chinese culture blip. Uh, so peace will reign under the heavens. Thank you.